Wonderland and sometimes not. Hanover winters can be daunting. The sun goes down early and the sky is not always blue. I was apprehensive about this term at the start. Challenging classes, the cold weather, and uncertainty about the future. But despite the cold, this term felt warm to me. Sometimes you know you're in a valley and it seems like things aren't going your way. But other times you come out of that valley onto a hill. And on that hill, you breathe deeply and feel the warm sunshine on your face. Smile at the little blessings in your day and give thanks for what you have. This winter, I was on that hill and I went sledding down it. <laughs> this is insane. I think this was a job well done. It was a great time. 10 out of 10. It was great, but. that I really enjoyed and found joy in my work through reading great novels and plays in my Russian literature class. In discussing with other students, I reflected on my own values and admired the persistence of human nature. My professor was Ukrainian and hearing her stories about the conflict touched me deeply and made my heart go out to all the people of Ukraine. about people's families, their parents, their grandparents, and all the stories they have, which gave even more color and depth to my friends. And at the end of the term, as per tradition, we made wontons, and we cooked delicious food, and ate together filling our bellies and our souls. I embraced the snow and the sleet and the cold. I plunged into a frozen pond, skated on Occam, skied down the Dartmouth ski way and admired stunning ice castles. I felt rooted spiritually and felt that my North Star, my faith, was shining brightly and guiding me giving me not clarity necessarily, but trust, which is more important. Not every season is like this, but in winter, I woke up thankful. Thankful for how pretty the snow looked, how it sparkled in the sun. Thankful as I danced my heart out with Sheba at her shows.
and laughed. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he tried.